What's up everyone? So I wanted to make this video today. Sorry, getting over head cold, so don't have much of a voice. Wanted to make this video because I've been having a lot of people ask about feed. Where do I get all of my feed? Well, I've been getting it from a guy in Farmington, but he's been really hard to get a hold of. So we found a place out by us that's about 20 minute drive, about 15, 20 minutes, and it's an organic place. And then we found a place in Moore, Minnesota, which is about an hour and 40 minutes for us, but he sells it in bulk. And that's very hard to find right now, or organic feed in bulk. So what we do is we, we drove up there and we went and talked to him, his name is Rye. It's Fresh Starts Organic Feed. And the guy was very nice and I came in this 2,000 pound tote and I got some pictures I'll throw up through here. Sarah and I unloaded it that evening. We got 1,500 pounds worth of pig feed for our little piggies over there. And the other place is RCR. And I'll have, I'll put the other place, I'll, I'll have all the names here. So uh, if you go through Rye, which is up north and uh, Minnesota, it's all, he's organic and he sells the feed in bulk for chickens, hogs, and you can call him and he can mix it for you. So if you go through him, he can do it in totes for you and you get it cheaper because you're buying it in bulk. So you don't have it in bags. If you can't do it in bulk, because you don't have the space, like we put everything in garbage cans. If you can't do that and you don't have the room or 55 gallon drums, or whatever you can get a hold of, then you can buy it from RCR and they do it in, they have, it's RCR organic store and they have it all where it's in bags. And then if you order 30 bags, you get a discount. So we just ordered some or chicken feed from them this year. So we'll be running our broilers, our first batch of broilers off of them. And then we have the pig feed we got from Rye up north. And then we also are gonna be getting another round of broilers and we're gonna get um, more feed from Rye of, for the broilers. And then this winter, I'm gonna go buy bulk for the ladies and I'm gonna put it in the bins for to get through the winter so I don't have to haul bags. So we'll go through Rye again. He's a small, smaller farm working on it working really hard doing a great job everything's clean around there it's a beautiful farm and he used to do market gardening and stuff the way it sounded and did some meats so you guys should look him up i'll put the link in the description below you guys would have uh, a good time good time talking to him he's a very nice guy and uh it's minnesota and he grows pretty much all of it so that's even better so yeah, I figured I'd make this video because I had a lot of people ask where we're getting it from and I recommend them. So check them out. I'll have both their websites down below in the description and I gotta do chores because it's in the evening now and we're swamped with work. So we're gonna get the kids ready for bed. So they wanna do chores with me. And guess what? I pet the pig today. All three was petting them. Look at there. Come on, Bob. Hi, honey. Smoky. Smoky, you're jumpy. Others on the wings already.
this weekend, I'm gonna make that bigger. Oh, take the wall off so they can go anywhere in there. I should probably show you what I did this weekend. I put in a post here and I ordered these hinges online. Yes, I know this one's at an angle, but having pigs, I didn't want them to come over here if they ever got out, put their snout, snout on right there and lift up because it'd pop it off the gate. So what I did is I turned that one. So I should have raised that one a quarter inch. Well, you can't do that once you have a hole. So I just kind of let them both flex. But you can see it's a nice working gate. And then I put another post here and I have this chain to latch it, to lock them in. And then I also cleaned out their coop and I have that here and that is a compost pile. So that's gonna be weekly, I'm gonna turn that and keep watering it and if I have to add more carbon, but that'll be used for our beds that we're gonna be putting in for all that cedar I have ripped over there. So just waiting for spring to get here though. It's gonna be cold again the next couple days and more rain. We didn't have much rain last year, so I'll take all the rain we can get actually. <sighs> what a beautiful evening though. It was cloudy, windy earlier, and then it just died down and the sun came out. Just gorgeous now. I do have to say, that zoomed in, I really am enjoying the pigs. I'm glad we got them. Didn't think it would be uh, this much enjoyment, but I'm glad we got them. See how this year goes. Just maybe we'll get some breeder ones. Start having piglets. The kids are all for it, and so is Sarah. So, and at least she's not talking about her milk call right now. <laughs> we don't have the room. If we had a flat two acres, then I would have a milk call. But there's a big ravine over there. If that was all filled in and grass, then I wouldn't mind. Then I'd say it's okay, but there's no way we can do it. With raising chickens on our grass right there, plus having, no, just too much for this little piece of property. We gotta take what we have and be grateful. Thank you for watching this video. And if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wanna see some more of this handsome looking guy. <laughs> I'm glad you got to see me again. <laughs> Bye.